joining us. Moving on, global vertical SaaS logistics platform provider Kale Logistics Solutions has raised $30 million in its Series B funding round led by Kriegis Advisors LLP, a digital and tech-focused private equity fund. Now, Kale Logistics Solutions provides a suite of software solutions for the logistics industry and counts several Fortune 500 companies, including large airports and seaports, as its customers. Joining me now is its chairman, Vipul Jain. Vipul, many thanks for joining us on Startup Street today. Uh, you develop vertical SaaS solutions for the global logistics industry, primarily targeting airports and seaports. So take me through your cargo community platforms and the suite of SaaS solutions that help automating end-to-end -end cargo operations in airports and seaports. So our goal is really to provide the digital infrastructure to facilitate global trade, right? And this uh, infrastructure comprises of many components. The main component are cargo community platforms, which are anchored at either airports and ports, because that is the place where the shipment comes together and where all the parties involved with the shipment really need to uh, get involved with the documentation and different processes involved. Uh, and <clears throat> so basically at the back end, the platform connects to all the service providers, be it the cargo agents, be it the airlines or the shipping lines, okay. the airport, the port itself, the ground handling agents or the container terminal managers. So we connect to all customs. So we connect to all of these at the back end. And basically all the processes related to a shipment can be done on the platform. Okay, so so give us a use case, Vipul. Tell us how Kale reduces the complexities involved in cargo movement and its allied processes at airports and seaports. And what kind of efficiency are you bringing in? So I don't know if you're aware, but in a single shipment, there are more than 30 pieces of paper involved. And 90% of the information on all of this documentation is really the same. And today what a, what a cargo agent does is he goes onto the airline portal and he makes a booking, then he goes to the airport portal, requests for a slot to bring in his truck, then he goes to the ground handling portal and so on and so forth, right? And <clears throat> what we do is that basically it's a single window that allows all these processes to happen. Okay. So the agent from one place can actually book the cargo, get his slot for bringing a, the cargo to the airport, uh, get it loaded onto the aircraft, do the customs filing, the end-to-end -end process. Okay. Uh, you know, Kale's product and cloud applications have driven digital transformations in more than 100 airports and ports globally, and you have clients in over 36 countries. Uh, tell us what are your top performing markets, and if you could also take us through your current business growth numbers. So, you know, in India, uh, most of the airports are actually using our platform. Hmm. I would say about 65% of all of air cargo flows through our platform. And in fact, the platform is responsible for a huge efficiency at the airport. You know, for example, Mumbai Airport, which is in a very congested location, actually is able to carry a lot of cargo because of the digital infrastructure that it has deployed at the airport. Uh, so the India is, of course, a big market for us. Okay. But we are working in the Middle East. Mm. We are working in the US and Europe because this is a global need. Mm. And our whole vision is to not is to, of course, work with individual ports and airports, but ultimately also connect them up through a okay. digital corridor so that the at both ends of a cross border shipment, the entire process can be streamlined. Sure. Okay, and, and, and the, what are the growth numbers that you're seeing? And also, if you could talk to us, uh, you know, your scale-up plans in uh, geographies such as North America and Europe, the kind of impact you hope to create there, and how do you plan to facilitate seamless and paperless cross-border trade? So, well, last year, we grew in excess of 60%. Okay. And we plan to continue this type of growth over the next decade. So, that's really the overall plan. And in terms of uh, the markets uh, the idea is to just penetrate these markets more build these community platforms implement a lot more use cases provide value added services and mm. just keep reaching the stack of solutions in the digital infrastructure that we provide all right vipul uh, we'll have to wrap up on this and many thanks once again for joining us on startup street and wish you the very best with all your global plans thank you sir and in more fundraising